Hi, this is Saev Moten with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Hi everybody, let's start to create the trading plan for the coming week. Although on Friday I said that probably euro will show some gradual and smooth move uh, to the upside, but as you can see the non-farm payrolls have done the it's did and euro is really skyrocketed to the 128 area. So it's obvious that in the short term perspective we have the strong bullish context, although as we have discussed in our weekly research on our farm, in the longer term perspective a bit some factors that could become overall uh, future perspective and in the longer term is a bit more sophisticated uh, because it's quite different environment of quantitative easing program in the United States and it's quite different in the European unions, although on the surface, on the surface, uh, both of these programs uh, look like so. Uh, but this is the daily time, daily video research, and we will try to prepare the short-term trading plan. On the daily time frame, we see that your currency has accelerated strongly above the daily overbought. That is not typical for the financial markets. Well, although commodities could stand above the overbought and oversold levels for the considerable period of time, financials usually uh, do not show that. And it usually any financial market, the stocks, bonds and the currencies tends to uh, retrace us back from the level of overbought tends to correct this condition. As you can see, it's almost uh, on the overall your currency chart, you will not see such kind of the deep penetration of the overbought condition. Well, one thing that still could happen is the creeping with the overbought, some kind of that price action. So you can see market hit overbought, shell retracement, and creeping with the line of the overbought condition. But still, uh, since market is at overbought, strong overbought, this is not logical to enter, sh enter long right from the open price Monday. And uh, in, the, in this situation, I usually uh, try to buy some dip, some retracement to the downside. From that perspective, I see two levels that will be uh, nice for that purpose. The first level is the first dip support on the daily time frame 1.6696. 96 around 127 area that stands very close to the weekly pivot point. The next area to watch for is market still will show some deeper retracement. Who knows? Since this is a report, retracement could be really a bit deeper. It's 12602, 12622 area of confidence support that also coincides with the weekly pivot support one. Well, both of these levels are normal for upward continuation because when trend develops on any market usually either weekly pivot point or weekly pivot support one should hold retracement when uh, within this trend. Sometimes market just touch weekly pivot point and go. This you can see very often on the market uh, as uh, on currency markets as, as well. So uh, sometimes retracement when retracement uh, comes a bit deeper, the weekly pivot support uh, one comes in play and hold this deeper retracement. Because moving deeper than the weekly pivot support one usually is not very uh, good sign for current trend. What particular level to watch for and uh, where to enter? On that question we should answer based on intraday charts. And if, if, we, if, we can, if we can do this uh, currently, because you can see the market price action on Friday has closed right at top, so I suppose that here we will not see any significant reversal patterns. But still, let's try to find some hint that could probably could help us in the beginning of the week. On the 4-hour time frame we see 
nice upward acceleration. Although this thrust is not perfect, you can see some retracement and pause, then acceleration to the upside still. This thrusting move has a significant number of minimum requirement number of bars. And one pattern that we could watch for in the beginning of the week is the bread and butter buy. Because if market will show some retracement to the downside and will break this green line to the downside, that is the 3x3 three three moving average. Okay, I will I use it very often when uh, we will discuss we discuss the Jordan Apple directional patterns. Uh, from that perspective, I like this level. That is the weekly pivot point. Take a look that this also the four hour confluence support. Although on the daily time frame we see that this is just a fib support. On the four hour time frame we have another reaction point, it's right here. And that gives us the confidence support. So from the perspective of the brand body buy pattern, that area looks nice. I do not take into consideration this area because recall that market is on the robot and uh, probably it should reach at least the minimum uh, nearest FIP support on the daily time frame and test the weekly pivot point. And from the brand body perspective, that area looks very interesting and nice to watch from this perspective. On the hourly time frame, we see another some add-on to our analysis. Take a look; that market also has hit 1618 target of that pattern A, B, C bottom. That is, by the way, the day of the Mario Draghi speech. That was retracement, right? When the press conference has started, again the market then accelerated to the upside. So you can see it has hit 1618 target here. This for us suggests that it also could be a nice context for the double repo sell on the um, hourly chart. And if this will be really the case, I prefer to use as the target of the double repo the 50% area of the thrusting move of the double repo pattern. Thrust move has started right from this area till the high wherever it will be. Okay. Then the 50% target, I suppose, will be around 127.15 area. Let's take a look at again on the 4 hour time frame. 27.15, it's very close to the weekly pivot point. It's right here and 127 area is the confidence support on the 4 hour time frame. So, uh, actually this is, that's all that we could get right now from these charts. Since here I do not see any reversal patterns just yet, so you, you, we do not have any bullish engulfing, uh, bearish engulfing patterns, any butterflies, nothing no 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 bearish patterns right here that could trigger the downward move right now so i suppose that in the beginning of the week some patterns should appear here and um, after that some retracement should come particularly i will be watching for 127 12750 area and search for the buy signals in this area mostly due to potential double repo sell on this chart that also could look like the bread and butter buy on the 4 hour time frame. Unfortunately, currently I do not see any other patterns that could appear just because, as I said, the market has closed right on top. But that retracement should come. It's probably really very significant because you can see this really deep retracement, deep penetration of the level of ever bought. Uh, I do not remember any moment previously in the, in, the, in the past where when daily time frame, daily euro currency has penetrated the level of robot such such deep. So this is mm, really a bit outstanding moment on the market currently.